I like it to stay like that's what's good about the high is it spazzes out like a fish up on the surface that's just going mm -hmm. and it stays and all of that little ripple makes it it gives it more action yeah versus down below you're just getting or you know as a glide like go, you go ahead and tell me when you're ready uh three two one Hello. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Mike Gilbert. Wait, we. Oh yeah. Oh fuck. Oh yeah. Okay. You were recording. You were recording. Okay. Hey, I'm Mike Gilbert of Working Class Zero, and today I'm going to talk to you about how I like to fish the Joy Thief Working Class Zero DRT Tiny Clash High. So one of the best things about the Tiny Clash High is that it really stays up on the surface. It's almost punker-esque, where you can walk it, you get that wake coming off of it out there, and just impart action with your reel. Especially if you're using a high-speed reel, 200 size, and just kind of walk it around out there. You don't have to do anything nuts or you can go into like psycho mode where you're really kind of burning it but I really like to just walk the bait on the surface hoping to get those fish that just come up and just roll up on it and grab it and go right back I don't want it to go down that's what's the benefit about the tiny clash high is it will stay up on the surface for the most part you know occasionally it's gonna go down a little bit especially if the line goes through some grass but the best part about that tiny clash high is that it's gonna stay up on the surface the low is not gonna do that for the most part the high it's gonna stay up right there on the surface you can walk it get those fish that are blowing up on top water or whatever it might be they're gonna come up grab it and go back down you know every every angler knows every angler knows that there is a benefit where sometimes the fish just don't want it subsurface they want it on the top so you need to have both options in the toolbox so that you can go okay they're not eating it if it's down a foot or whatever they want it up off the surface they want it fast grab that high check it out the way i like to fish it is in mode b that allows for it to really start moving you can also flip the tail around go into an a take that little tiny lip pop her in there but just make sure you don't just shove it straight in so you can see it a little bit better it needs to go in at a little bit of an angle and then you rotate it in and snap it in same as when you're pulling them out don't want guys breaking lips pull it out then if you just want this as it's a high you can go ahead bomb it out there and just on a nice slow retrieve even though this is a high speed reel it's just swimming along. Can you see it, Jeffrey? Mm -hmm. Nice little head wiggle to it. It's not, it's more stealth. It's not making a bunch of noise. It's not knocking. These are all things that you need to have. Sometimes those fish don't want it to be all pop, 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 pop. Something else too that I switch out the stock hooks. I go into some owner STX 45ZN size threes on it. A lot of, that's gonna be a little bit small for a lot of guys. They'll probably wanna do twos, but that also makes the bait lighter. So it's gonna stay up even higher. Little tricks that help the performance of the baits so you can keep them up. I was gonna switch out to go to, but I'm going into mode B and I, just, I really like fishing it like a little glide the boat the the bait responds really well you can do a lot of action with just your reel especially on high speed or you can start going nuts with the tip tap 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 tap, tap and make that bait and when you're up on the surface if it wants to roll a little bit i think that's totally fine if you watch the bait fish when they're getting chased around on the surface they're not staying perfectly straight you kind of want that flash from it and that's why that Joy Thief color has a lot of flash to it. It's real shaddy looking. Have the blue up on the top, 
the dark head, the yellow highlight going down, the pearlescent body with a turquoise flash on it. I mean, it just screams a, a bait that will work anywhere in the world for the most part. I don't know of a place in the world that doesn't have a, have a pattern that looks like that. So it's a, all around is, it's just an all around amazing bait. And I, I think that the, uh, the high is probably the most underutilized version of a mall. It's a big miss for a lot of guys because they're, they're, they're not realizing the potential of the top water bite. You can have some massive explosions with the high where fish just come up and just go down, working it fast. Don't give them too long to, to look at it. You can fish the bait fast. So you can fish this both with and without a snap when you're fishing it lipless. The movement's gonna be a lot tighter without the snap, but you're gonna foul less. I mean, that's a benefit to it, uh, especially when you're really working it fast. You put the snap on it, it opens it up a lot more. I definitely recommend it if you're gonna be fishing it like a crank with a lip in. Then it allows that movement, that more head wobble as you're trying to crank it down. It's kind of just like whatever guys prefer, but somebody recently turned me on to fishing these without the snap, and I kind of, I enjoy it a little bit more because I seem to foul far less. You can overwork the bait when you have a snap on. If you start working it too hard and it doubles back on itself and you end up fouling. So we all want less uh, wasted cast, especially when you're the big, especially when you're in the big bait realm and you're firing on if they're busting fish, like a bad cast where it starts spiraling. Ah, oh, nah, it's not. So. Pick your poison, but with or without the snap, it works up on the surface. That's my preferred method of fishing the Tiny Clash High and the Joy Thief pattern. Uh, get out there, give it a shot. Like I said, it's a missed opportunity for a lot of anglers not realizing the potential of this bait in their tackle box, what it can deliver in very specific scenarios. So, Tiny Clash High, Joy Thief, right there.